Good morning. It's early in the morning and we're at a private airfield in Bogota, Colombia, about ready to go on a four and a half hour flight, I think they said, to a very remote area of Colombia. Stay tuned. Our local guides, Elvis Quintera of Mannequin Nature Tours and Yvonne Macias of Colombia Occulta joined us at the airport. This is the plane that's gonna carry us to southeastern Colombia. We're gonna look for a very special hummingbird. This is gonna be exciting. The view is supposed to be spectacular flying down there. a little airport in San Jose de Guaviare. We had lunch here and apparently we're stuck here for probably an hour because it's raining in Araracoata and uh, we want it to be clear when we land. Our route took us over Chiribiketi National Park, one of the largest unexplored frontiers in existence. The park is roughly the size of Switzerland and it's home to some indigenous tribes that have never had contact with the outside world. People from the village of Puerto Santander came to the airstrip to meet our plane. Here we met Hernando Andoque, who would accompany us for our stay. The plane took off to go back to Bogota and our adventure had begun. Well, now we're walking down the airstrip looking for birds. We came to this very remote area of southeastern Colombia to find the Chiribiketi Emerald a hummingbird that up until now only four reported observations were on eBird. To find it, we were planning on hiking into the park and staying with a local tribe, but first we began looking for birds in the vicinity of the airstrip. Much to our surprise and delight, we spotted the bird in some bushes right alongside the airstrip. We could not believe that we had actually found our target hummingbird within the first hour after landing in the plane. This changed our plans and since we now could find the bird much more easily than we had anticipated, we would stay in the village of Puerto Santander instead of camping inside the park. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Woohoo! Let's yeah. go to Vegas. <laughs> You think getting these birds is easy? <laughs> think again. We hiked to a place called Devil's Balcony, which overlooks the incredible Araracuata Gorge. From this viewpoint, we could see the wild macaws that nest here in the canyon.
The hike from the airfield down to the village of Puerto Santander takes about one and a half hours, and we would be taking this route back and forth every day. It was dark when we reached the banks of the Keketa River, where we took a boat across to the village. We were welcomed into the home of Yasid and Nuri Castro, where Nuri cooked meals for us in her kitchen. <laughs> 